Question number 96. Protonema of mosses and prothallus of ferns resemble with each other in first option, bearing diploid sex organs, second being photosynthetic, third producing haploid spores, fourth being filamentous and without rhizoids. This is very interesting question and important from your examination point of view also. What is protonema and prothallus? From question, it is clear that protonema is found in mosses and prothallus in ferns. So these two structures, protonema and prothallus, both are gametophytic structures. So protonema and prothallus being gametophytic, both are haploid in nature. So first option, bearing diploid sex organs, no, being haploid they produce haploid sex organs, not the diploid. Second, being photosynthetic, yes, both are photosynthetic in nature. Third, producing haploid spores, no, they don't produce spores, they bear haploid sex organs. Fourth, being filamentous and without rhizoids, no. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 97. The male gametophyte is not independent in first option mustard, second marchantia, third gingo, fourth both one and three. The male gametophytes, gametophytes, gametophytes are independent in bryophytes as well as pteridophytes but gametophytes are dependent in gymnosperms as well as angiosperms. So the gametophytes are independent in bryophytes and pteridophytes whereas the gametophytes are dependent or they do not have independent existence in gymnosperms and angiosperms. So the male gametophyte is not independent in first option mustard. Mustard being an angiosperm they do not have independent gametophyte. So this is correct. Gingo gymnosperm it also does not have independent gametophyte. So this is also correct. Margentia being a bryophyte has independent gametophyte. So this is ruled out. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 98. Fill in the blanks by choosing the correct option. The sporophyte in dash is more developed than that of in dash. First option, Rixia finaria. Second, Marchantia polytrichum. Third, Polytrichum rixia. Fourth, Porella polytrichum. In this particular question, you have to tell that in which organism sporophyte is more developed than the other organism. So, the sporophyte is more developed in mosses as compared to the liverworts. So you have to find out a moss in which the sporophyte is more developed than the liverwort. So Rexia is a liverwort. So this option is ruled out. Marchantia again is a liverwort. So this option is ruled out. Polytrichum is a moss. So it has more developed sporophyte as compared to the Rexia which is a liverwort. So this option is correct. Fourth, Porella. Again, it's a liverwort. So this option is ruled out. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 99. Match the following columns and choose the correct option. A. Smallest flowering plant, microphylls, tallest gymnosperm, chlorophyll C, sargassum, wolfia, selaginella, sequoia. So match the items given in the column one to column two. A. Smallest flowering plant means the smallest angiosperm. Smallest angiosperm is almost microscopic and it is wolfia. So A matches with third. All the options are ruled out here if you know a single answer. So A, third, yes. 
the tallest gymnosperm the tallest gymnosperm is sequoia so b matches with fourth so b fourth yes sargassum is a brown alga which has chlorophyll a and c so c matches with second yes it is also correct selaginella it's a heterosporous teredophyte which has small leaves called microphylls so d matches with one so this is correct so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move on to the next question question number 100 select the plant which has vascular tissues but lacks seeds first option teris second rixia third cycas fourth cedrus the plant group which has vascular tissues but lacks seeds is pteridophytes so pteridophytes have vascular tissues they are first vascular plants but they lack seeds so you have to find out the pteridophyte in all the four options so second option is a bryophyte which lacks vascular tissues as well as seeds so this option is ruled out option number 3 and 4 that is cycas and cedrus both are gymnosperms in which vascular tissues as well as seeds both are present so these options are also ruled out the left one is teris teris is a pteridophyte which has vascular tissues but lack seeds so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move on to the next question mm -hmm. 